Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you like the St. Vincent and the Grenadines episode. Oh, what's that? I'm drinking from this Geography Now mug while holding a Geography Now gym sack while wearing a Geography Now t-shirt, all of which you can get on geographynow.com. Why, yes, I am. It's my brand. I can promote it if I want. Trust me, by now you guys can kind of tell if I'm selling out. I'm really not good at hiding it. It's like, download this video game that has nothing to do with geography and I don't give a shit about. Yeah, you guys can tell by now. Anyway, as you know, this is the part where I talk about the small mistakes we made in the episode or the things that didn't quite make it in the episode. For one, it's Hyruna, not Hyrun. Hyrun is the name of the beer company. In the music segment, I meant to write Kevin Little featuring Mads Art. And in the country, they mostly use the Type G plug outlet with A and B sometimes included. I forgot to mention that the Garifuna spoke a dialect of the Arawak language. And also, I forgot to mention the relationship they have with Belize. Belize has one of the highest populations of Garifuna people in the whole world. A very close tie. Should have put it in the friend zone. They're also known for producing high quality tennis rackets. Tennis player Pete Sampras is known for refusing to play with any tennis racket unless if it's made in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In 2020, they initiated a nationwide plastic bag ban and styrofoam disposable food service item ban. The locals will also joke that there's a lot of conveniently located administrative buildings in the country. For example, there's a courthouse next to the prison, there's a cemetery behind the hospital, and there's a mental institution next to the college. Also like many other former British colonial islands in the Caribbean, St. Vincent and the Grenadines to some extent uses imperial units like miles and gallons. So woohoo, the US and Liberia are not alone. And finally, in regards to ET Joshua Airport, they're planning on just dismantling the whole thing and making it into an extension of the city with shopping centers and housing units. So yeah, that is just about it. Now we gotta talk about the flag. So without further ado. <laughs> Ah, this was such a great episode to film. And it's very funny because right after I announced that the Tourism Authority of St. Lucia was gonna help me out with the St. Lucia episode, the Tourism Authority of St. Vincent like hit me up the day after and they're like, hey, uh, hey, uh, how would you like us to help you out? Things are very funny. They're kind of like, hmm, if St. Lucia can do it, why can't we? Either way, thank you so much, Tourism Authority of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So anyway, the flag. The flag is composed of a vertical tricolor of blue and green with a double width gold band in the middle. In addition, there are green diamonds arranged in a V pattern in the center. Center. The blue represents the tropical sky and the crystal waters. The yellow stands for the golden grenadine sands, even though many of their beaches are black volcanic sands, but okay. And the green stands for the island's lush vegetation. The diamonds allude to the saying that St. Vincent and the Grenadines are the gems of the Antilles, and they are positioned in the V pattern to symbolize V for Vincent. Prior to this, they had a few other flags. They actually had the same flag, but it had the emblem plus a breadfruit tree leaf on it. And prior to that, they had, you know, the Union Jack one with the same emblem. However, the first Europeans to come in and colonize were actually the French. So it goes back to 1663, I think, King Louis XIV. And after that, the French pretty much only fought the British once and they're like, eh, you guys can have it. Anyway, the national emblem. The national emblem of St. Vincent and the Grenadines has a cotton plant on top, as cotton was once a former crop heavily grown here, and a banner at the bottom reading peace and justice in Latin. In the center is a colonial badge shaped frame with an image depicting peace and justice. The two women are wearing classical Roman dresses one holding an olive branch symbolizing peace and the other a scale of justice as she kneels before a golden altar between them with two shaking hands engraved on it. And that's pretty much the only coat of arms they've had. Fun little fact I forgot to mention, one reason why they love their national bird, the Amazona Gildingi, because the feathers of the bird have the colors of the flag on it. Here is a feather I got from the botanical gardens. It was just lying on the ground and Gordon gave it to me. He's like, you can have it. I'm like, okay. And uh, they love their bird. It's really cool when you see the birds up front. They even talk a little bit. How are you? All right? Uh, he said all right. <laughs> so yeah, that's just about it. So that means uh, now you know what time it is. It's time for Geography Fan Mail time. Hey guys, so we're back for Fan Friday. And as you know, we always have to have guest stars. So today's guest stars are, go are going to be Hannah and Ian. And so uh, in the St. Lucia episode, uh, we kind of surprised you with a little something. Uh, just a little just, something. Yeah, a little something, yes. uh, How are you guys feeling about that? <laughs> um, stoked. I'm excited. I can't believe that. I still kind of can't believe that we're going to. I probably will. Going to St. Lucia, but not now. But not so, now. Something about a little world uh, pandemic thing going on. But you will go. I we promise. We will. You will, and we will go. take all the pictures. In the meantime, we got to do uh, some postcards. All right, guys, uh, so this one is from Ari from Santa Rosa, California. He says, uh, if you ever come up here, you should go to the Charles Schultz Museum. All right, this one is from Elisa. She sends this card that is from 1978. What is it? But it's a picture of the Capitol. Man. All right, well, hey, I've got three from Abby. Are those hand-drawn? I think. 
Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, it's definitely hand calli- calligraphy. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Calligraphy. <laughs> no, this is defi- this is definitely handmade. Mm. Special special mention to Caleb this time. One of the best places to visit in Kyoto, a hidden gem. Dear Paul and the rest of Hannah's supporting cast. Okay. Apparently, there's a picture of the tree that owns itself, a white oak tree, uh, Athens, Georgia. It actually has jurisdiction eight feet away from its base. All right, this is from Kevin. He says, what's up, Geography Now? He loves the show. And he sent us this postcard from his recent trip to Portugal and Morocco. Hmm. All right, guys, so I have a letter from uh, Jacob. Yeah. Anyway, so it says, hello, Geo team. My name is Jacob. I live in Davenport, Iowa. And this, which I had suspected might be coffee, is in fact dirt from hell. Yeah. Hell. Yeah, the town of Hell, Michigan. Hell, Michigan. And he yeah. said he knows it's not a lot, but he didn't have a lot to begin with, and he didn't want to give it all away. <laughs> but he said how many people can say they actually went to hell? Hell, Michigan dirt. Um, interesting thing to send. Thanks, Thank Jacob. You. Thank you. Well, yeah. this one is from Chuck, who says, Hello, Geography Now, except Hannah. Rude. <laughs> Because he, does, he doesn't like SEC football. Roll Tide. Um, <laughs> it's the... Oh, oh, man. This guy's got gracious. issues. What's his name? Chuck? Oh, Chuck. He, this, uh, thank you for the postcards. But come on. I got one hate mail and one, like, I love you mail. All right. This is a postcard. It's very pretty. It's from British Columbia. Salmon arm. Ty Paul and the Geography Now team. My name is Finn. I've been watching since your Canada episode. That's in the seas. That sounds mm-hmm. like a long time ago. Salmon arm. I've been to Canada. You have? Yeah. Wait, where have you guys been, by the way? Costa Rica, Mexico. Okay, yeah, and soon, uh, St. Lucia! I'm so excited. What? We are just gonna oh. relax. Oh, Wait, I have one more. Uh, this is from Angela. She sends um, a hi to the GN team. She's from Cincinnati, Ohio, but she traveled to Madeira. Madeira Island. And um, she has been watching our videos and thinks we're super um, inspirational and funny. That's awesome. Thank you, Angela. Madeira belongs to Portugal, and this is where Ronaldo is from. Oh, so, yay. Yeah. So, now let's do packages. Grab. This is my favorite part. By the way, guys, what was your favorite episode you've been on in Geography Now? St. Lucia. St. Lucia? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not even a question. That makes Paul. sense. Oh, uh, what sense. was the one where uh, I made the funny joke about the cows? I was like, the, the, they oh, all give each other cows. It was recently. Yeah. Uh, Rwanda. R- Rwanda. Rwanda. Yeah. That was one of my favorite That was ones. a fun one, too. There's a lot of like, weird stuff in it. I opened a box. I put it down already. It uh, appears to be from Saudi. It's a thing. Yeah, you might need a knife. Hannah, where's your uh, buck knife? You're, uh, you're Alabamian. I don't have one, Arizona. actually. This is so- Oh. Check this out. From Saudi Arabia. From Saudi. That's how they pronounce oh. it. Saudi. Oh, Musmak. I've been here. You've been there? Yeah, this is in Riyadh. This is awesome. Well, hey, thank you, Khalid. I really appreciate it. Love that you did your tour in Saudi Arabia when you came to Riyadh in 2016, and I thought it would be a good idea to send you some souvenirs from Saudi that you might like, although probably made in China. So the city of uh, Jeddah, actually, Caleb and I went there when we were flying to Ethiopia. It's, uh, it's really up and coming. They're trying to build the world's tallest building. They're trying to wow. beat Dubai. This is from Emily. And she says she's from Toronto. A lot of Canadians and a lot of people a lot from of Canadians. Ohio. A lot of Canadians. I know, a lot of Ohio people. The Royal Tor- Ontario Museum. This is a metal postcard. It's made of metal. Mm-hmm. And uh, she also sends these bookmarks. I guess everybody can oh, take I one. Want one. Oh, I want yeah. one. The one with the olives. I like olives. Thoughtfully handmade. And, uh, oh, they were? Yeah, cool. it's, like a, it's like a company. The Instagram handle is thoughtfully handmade. And these were handmade, apparently, by the people of Thoughtfully. Uh, Emily drew this. <clears throat> it is a, uh, dope. It's a little, uh, Geography Now. Drawing. That is dope. That's yeah. Cool. This one is from Aaron. He says, Dear Geography Now team, he is from <laughs> Cambridge, Massachusetts, home of the world's only junior mints factory. Mm, the only one? The only one. He, on top oh. of that, sends us u- these unique dial language books written and combined into lineal parallel text format. Uh, He's editor in chief at a company that makes these books. You, Do deep steam. Yeah. Here, you like take whatever you want. You love your job. Oh, German's Did you just awesome. put all this in your mouth once? Yeah. That is Ew. what I mean. she said. Check this out. It says, find out more about your world. Oh. Flags World Tour, the video. Video game, the board game. And we're stuck in the house for the perfect time. Yes, we're under quarantine right now. Hey, Jogger for Now team, this is Alex from La Belle Provence, Quebec, Canada. Wow, another Canadian. But this is Quebec, so it's like. 
It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's different. I'm sending you this board game about flags called Flags of the World Tour. I hope you will enjoy it. That's awesome. It seems to, so there's this board, and then oh. there's some of these cards. Wait, I want to do Oh yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay, what is this country? Oh, that's Guatemala. All right, what is the name of the capital city? Guatemala City. And wh which is the highest point in Central America? Oh, 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 uh, shoot, it's the volcano. Volcan Baru? No, Volcan, no, 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 no. Forgot, sorry. It no. is Tajumulco. Tajumulco, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, good. this All is right. fun. Quiz This Paul. one, flag. What's the flag? Look Dominica. Uh, what is the name of its capital city? Roseau. Nice. Dominica became independent in? 1979? Ooh, so close! 78! 83? Oh, 78! Oh, 78! Ah, this one's definitely the YMCA. Keep going, keep Just going. Just kidding, okay, what is this one? <laughs> uh, South Africa, come on, All let's right. see. Alright, what's the name of the capital city? Uh, they have three capital cities, Johannesburg, Pretoria... I got Pretoria. Pretoria? That's okay, yeah, okay, yeah. And the most important export product. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, dad, uh, uh, diamonds? Close. What would you say? Gold? Yeah. Gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they do a lot of mining there. All right. So I guess if you answer them, you get to move You get to move. move so move really, if we water. played this game, no one would win but you. <laughs> We're just not going to play this game with Paul. No. Just... There's got to be somebody in the world who knows all that stuff, too. I'm like pretty sure. You know what's weird? I actually don't really get along with people that are similar to me. Like, I think that's, that's not most that weird. people. That's pretty normal, yeah. I think. Like, I'm more drawn into people that like have a certain skill set that I'm I have known nothing right. about. Yeah, because it's more no. interesting. You get to learn stuff you don't know. What's the capital of Alabama? Oh, uh, Birmingham. No. No, no. Shoot, Montgomery, Montgomery. <laughs> it's probably bad to expose that the people on Geography Now don't know that much about geography. Full disclosure: uh, most of the people on Geography Now don't really have and expertise in geography, they just read the teleprompter. I, re I write all the scripts. But reading the teleprompter Bubble does take burst. does take a lot of effort, and as someone who doesn't know about geography as much as Paul does, it is great to learn. It's an awesome experience to be able to learn about these new countries. I remember when Hannah started, um, you had to kind of warm up to it. You had to warm up. Yeah, and try to make it look natural. It's hard. What was it like for you when you started joining Geography Now? I, I didn't know what I was walking into. Kittle was just like, hey, like my friend's looking for a girl to do some YouTube thing, like show up at the YouTube space, and it's this like massive YouTube channel, and it just worked, and it was, I felt like we all got along really well, and then you guys loved Ian, and it just worked, and I really loved doing it, it's highlight of my week. Now you're a fan favorite, so it yes. works out, exactly. Ladies, we're out there. So, uh, we changed things up at the end, now we're doing the Geogra Do contest. Do something that makes the world a better place. It could be volunteering, it could be cleaning up a beach or anything. And uh, today's winner is going to be Octo Octavian. It's very appropriate for this episode because he actually volunteered in St. Vincent. Wow. Um, yeah, he um, built biogas, which are things that produce methane gas for outskirt areas so that they can use it in stoves when they don't have access to oh. uh, propane or things that can make fire. So thank you, Octavian, for helping out the people in rural areas of St. Vincent. It's awesome. You win a free Geography Now t-shirt. You can choose Woo! any shirt you want off of geographynow.com. And uh, remember guys, if you do not win, you can get any merchandise off of geographynow.com. Feel free to do so. Do we need a random Hannah shirt? I, I, I asked, do you want a random Hannah shirt? Yes, I do. Okay, then we gotta create one. You guys just send us your artwork. Any last things you want to say to the Geography Now community? We love you guys. Keep sending awesome stuff. And we're going to St. Lucia. St. Lucia! As soon as the pandemic ends. Yeah. Wash, your, wash your hands, stay inside. Yeah, stay inside so we can go to St. Lucia. <laughs>